Hi, my name is Ann Wenslick, and I'm an engineer for Chevrolet and Fuel Economy. Hi, my name is Beth Nunning, and I'm also an engineer for Chevrolet and Fuel Economy. Beth and I were wondering how driver behavior might affect fuel economy. Beth and Ann are going to test some of the common mistakes drivers make to see what it costs them at the pump. So now we're going to have a comparison. I'm going to drive the way you should drive to improve your fuel economy. And I'm going to drive the way that you shouldn't. And at the end, we're going to take a look at our average fuel economy meters and show you what the difference is. To have a fair test, the first thing we're going to do is reset the average fuel economy. I'm going to reset my average fuel economy too. But first I want to show you something. My tire pressure is low and I have a warning telling me that. And tire pressure is very important to fuel economy, so it's not a warning that you want to ignore. For the demonstration today, I have six bags of rock salt in my car. I found these on sale at the hardware store, but they're going to cost me up to 5% of my fuel efficiency. So let's go. Okay. Overcoming wind resistance accounts for one-third of the fuel used at highway speeds. So changing your car's aerodynamics by adding flags or leaving a ski or cargo rack on your roof will decrease your vehicle's fuel efficiency. Beth and Ann also wanted to see if idling at a drive through rather than stopping and walking in would affect mileage. In fact, 15 minutes of idling could add a dollar to the cost of your latte. So we completed our test. Let's talk about how we did. Beth only got 20.5 miles per gallon. That was the result of idling through the drive through lane, driving fast on the highway, accelerating quickly from stoplights, having a lot of weight in the trunk, and flags that increased wind resistance. So Ann, how did you do? Wow, Beth, I was so surprised. I was able to get 37 miles per gallon just following these simple tips. Things like making sure my vehicle is properly maintained, not accelerating quickly from stop signs and slowing down at highway speeds, it can make a real difference. And that can be $100 a month or $1,200 a year. That's a flat screen TV. So just by following some simple tips, you can really make a difference and put some money in your pocket.